What if I were to pray that your physical health matched your spiritual health? Would you want me to pray that prayer? (laughs) A lot of nervous laughter going on, right? No, you probably wouldn't, right? You would probably not want me to pray. You'd probably not want me to ask God that the state of your body match the state of your soul. And the reason why is simple. Most of you guys know that if I prayed that prayer for you and it was answered, then you would instantly fall ill. Right? Most of you guys know that if I prayed that prayer for you and it was answered, then you would have to be rushed to the emergency room. You guys know that if I prayed that prayer for you and it was answered, you might even fall over dead. It's true, right? Guys, so many people within the church are physically fit, but spiritually out of shape. There are so many people in the church who are physically strong, but spiritually weak. And guys, we know... We know that we cannot neglect proper nutrition or exercise or eating habits and expect to stay physically healthy. So why in the world do we think that we can neglect such spiritual disciplines as church attendance or community group involvement or personal prayer and Bible study time and expect to stay spiritually healthy? Why in the world do we think that? Church, having a balanced life physically is very important. Don't misread me. But even more so, having a balanced life spiritually is something that we cannot afford to ignore. We must ensure that our souls are in shape just as our bodies. 